Oh, the underground complex. Alright, so, hello. This is, uh, first of several, maybe, episodes of simple tip, play-by-play, etc. ASMR video. I don't really know what I'll call it yet. Yeah, but the idea is to semi-ironically do a little bit of DVD and kind of just relax. Maybe you can sleep, maybe you can learn a little bit or both. But, uh, we got ourselves a Huntress. And she's chasing Lori, so that's cool. But yeah, we are on the laboratory map. Kind of looking for a gin. She's already gotten hit. Yeah, the idea is to do a little bit of teaching, but also kind of just chill. And have our game accidentally tab out somehow. That was interesting. Uh, the perks we're running are Pebble, Iron Will, DS and Dead Hard. Pebble is my staple perk, actually, but it's also funny. Um, uh, the idea is to try and get some chases while also running perks that'll help us keep those chases. I keep getting skill checks and I'm trying to talk. Alright, found our Cheryl. She tried to help out our down teammate, Lori, but we just got a healer. Oh, Huntress found the hook next to us. Will she pick our gin? Yeah, she's heading straight here. I think she has nurses calling. She kind of immediately pulled her hatchet back. Alright, so... Yeah, she's on Cheryl. Probably followed the blood trail. My attempt was to bring her to the edge of the map with scratch marks. And hopefully keep her not only from the hook, but also from patrolling gins. If you're in a chase and you're able, taking the killer to the edge of the map is usually a decent idea. Because it puts her the furthest possible way away from patrolling gins and other things on the map. We're tripled up on the gin now. She's hooking the Cheryl. We finally got downed. Our teammates missed a skill check. It was a Meg. No surprise there. Alright. So I know she sees scratch marks going all over the place, so I'm gonna try and separate away and get the save quickly. I have gathered Pebble. I'll try and use that later. This is very good on indoor maps. Alright. We saved Cheryl. Yeah, teammates are going down kind of rapidly. We're at a situation that's really dangerous for Survivor, where survivors are going down just when they're getting saved, so that always keeps three people busy, at least. One person down, one person hooked, and one person saving, which is very bad for the game's progression. Make that two down. So right now she's on the gen I want to do. And I'm going to save Lori. Oh, okay. So Cheryl Deester, I save Lori kind of in front of her face. Yeah. I was hoping she'd pick me instead of tunneling the Lori, who will likely have DS. But, uh, here she is. She kind of pathed in a weird way. She could have made it out of there, but she had DS. Normally I won't save in front of the killer like that. But knowing she has skill strike means that she can probably waste a lot of time. Fortunately, our Meg is doing a gin. We did get a gin done. Right, I'm on my other one now. Right now she's on Lori. I probably should take a hit for her. Um, because I'm not death hook. But, yeah, she is. She's downed. And, uh, I, I, I kind of missed a skill check, so there's that. I've done another gin. I'm actually very impressed. I think that was the one that was right under the hooks. Okay, she is slugging her. I guess this hunter either feels bad or is just trying to stop them from doing the gin and failed. Yeah. Trying to do a gin in, in the middle-ish part of the map. As you can see, I'm kind of in the middle of this hallway. If you do gins in the middle first, you're able to split them across the map so the killer has more map to patrol in the future when there are less gins to patrol. Which buys you more time when it comes to trying to get a little bit of progress on a gin while she patrols it. Yeah, so they've, they've completed. I see the two they've completed now. I thought she was about to pick me, but I think she's in chase. So I'm going to go back to it. Ah, uh, poor Meg. Fortunately, Meg's never been hooked. If I were to guess the killer's perks, the only thing I know currently is that she has nurses. I could tell by how quickly she tried to pull a hatchet when we were near a gin. But also, she could have just heard the gin. Alright, I hear her full charging a hatchet, and since there's only one other person that isn't dead walking around besides me, She's probably aiming at my teammate, and that tells me I should probably go ahead and heal Meg. But, killer picked up, so never mind. All 
Alright, fun tip about Huntress. She has a 40 meter lullaby, and that is equivalent to the range of barbecue. So if you're trying to dodge barbecue or think if you're in it, if you're not in the lullaby, she can see you with barbecue if she has it. Alright, um, another little tip. Meg's throwing her arms kind of spastically on hook. Uh, from the beginning of this game's creation, um, that was the universal sign for camping. And I kind of believe her, because as I get closer to this hook, I'm starting to hear, yeah, terror radius. Okay, well, she's just head on stunned her, so she... <laughs> I love this Shiro. Oh, uh, you're going to turn off the hook again, aren't you? Oh, no. All right, well. I'm a bit incredibly dead right now, but that's okay. A little bit of a dead, dead hard there, kind of preemptive. Um, it wasn't entirely necessary, probably could have made it around the corner. But my thoughts were, I don't want to risk, you know, her being from China, and that being the reason our game isn't considerably harder. Uh, control. Kind of just running through pallets right now, I don't really need to drop any yet. Yeah, see, I feel like that was a little bit of a suspicious hit, so I just decided, like earlier, to dead hard. I feel like that was a good idea, judging from that hit. I didn't use any pallets, um, mainly because it's Huntress. Fortunately, if I'm right about her having nurses, even if she sees them, which she definitely will, if she has it, she cannot get to them in time. Or how they don't realize that they're... Not in range. Now that they've stopped, she'll definitely get there in time. And that can be a problem. If they get found before that heal, we're in big trouble. Okay. So it looks like I was wrong. The Huntress has no idea where they are, so no nurses. Never mind, she has nurses. She was waiting for them to drop down. <laughs> they were on the third floor. She just... <laughs> okay. So the Meg decided that she was going to use an add-on for the medkit to try to take an extra hit and save, and then failed. But I have skill strike, and the killer likes eating it, so I should be able to get away with this in the future. Alright, so I know she follows blood trails, and it's very easy to do on this map. My goal at the moment... Well, it was to get her to follow my trail and eat Pebble, but... She is not interested in Pebble. Alright, which means she's definitely on Cheryl. That's a little bit more evidence that she's on Cheryl. I'm trying to get the hook save. If I can save her at a proper time, and Cheryl would leave the hook. If you're in chase, especially if your teammate's injured, and there's only three of you, uh, get away from the hook if you can as soon as possible. So you can, um, so your teammate has some space to save. When you're patrolling the hook like that, it's very dangerous. Okay, I keep running into the Cheryl. I think I'm going to do the safe gen. What I consider the safe gen on this map is the gen in the, um, well, the butthole room, I guess. I don't really know what you call this. The... I mean, look, I mean, what do you think that is? Don't look if you're sleeping. I'm sorry. Alright. Yeah, this gen is safe because she literally has to walk all the way up that staircase before she's even remotely a threat to me. So, and on top of that, it's on the edge of the map. Speaking of the edge of the map, Cheryl is across the entire map from me. Therefore, I do not consider it my responsibility to save her. As soon as I hear a lullaby, I think I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure that room over there, where I'm looking, well, through the walls, um, there's an upstairs section, and I'm at equal elevation to that. Pebble goes through walls and at equal elevation. If I can throw a pebble up there and she thinks someone's in that area, she'll lose her mind. Okay, well, teammate got the save across the map, which is very good. And when they see I finish this gen, they'll be very happy. She tunneled Cheryl off hook, and we know she doesn't have DS anymore because her um, killer just devoured it, so that's info for us. And because we did middle generators, I'm now able to do a gen on the very edge of the map. A little bit of an advanced thing I just did there. 
I worked on the gym for two seconds of barbecue, and the other two seconds I ran away from it. So in case she did have it, and she were to head to me like right now, she would believe a pebble in that direction. And she believed it. And now she'll look for it for a little while. And she sees me though. So what I need to do now is go to the areas I know gyms are completed. And, you know, it's hard to memorize on indoor maps. But if you're going to prioritize the chase location, make it indoor areas. I was also right about that upstairs room. But I am very wrong about... About where the, uh... <laughs> Some other safe rooms are, because that almost killed me. <coughs> safe to vault that, because, um... I know that pallet's dropped, so I actually don't need it for distance. Okay, unfortunately I kind of killed myself on the edge over here. I'm gonna have to play a little weirdly at this. She'll never hit me with that. Okay, she thinks she's good, being a huge weirdo. Alright, she succeeded, actually. Yeah. With her little hit range, it's kind of hard to understand where she's going to hit me. I feel like she's kind of hit me with just the tip of her lunge, which is good. If I drop the pallet there, I'm pretty sure she would hit me. A little tip about under the pallet. When you drop a pallet, your hitbox moves back slightly into the pallet. And that's how you get hit through pallets. If you've never knew that. Not many people do. Yeah, our teammates across the map. If she has adrenaline, the correct play is to commit to the gym. But, um, only if she has time. I don't think she does. She doesn't even have skill burst. That's what I call sprint burst for anyone who may be new. Well, while we're here, we're dead. We probably should have killed ourselves on hook because, yeah. We need to let her get hatched, and I think it's... No, it's pretty far from her. Yeah, we'll get on the... Get on to the next match. Yeah, she's dead. It wouldn't have mattered if I died earlier or not, I don't think, because uh, I think hatch wasn't near her. I remember seeing it, but I don't know exactly how close. Alright, the preschool. Bad ham preschool. Very nice. I don't really ever pay attention to the numbers, I kind of just notice... Um, the map layout, and that's kind of how I figure out where I am. Alright, kill the Razor run again. And it's Freddy. Very, very hard killer to get Pebble with. So that could become a problem. <laughs> he is hit. Oh, Rayuga. Cool. He has a dying rune. Unless he has dead art, he won't make the- oh, wait. Yeah, he makes it. Yeah, dead art. He's definitely, uh, training this killer at the moment. I have gathered pebble, it's kind of really all I wanted. So that is nice taking him to the main building, because I actually know that Ryuga is a good player. I'm probably just going to stick this gin throughout the entirety of it. Oh, never mind, he's down. I'm doing it anyway. If basement's there, he's going to have a very bad time, because Scaler's going to teleport to me, and that's going to be a problem. Okay, judging by time, I don't think he has basement there. No. So it looks like basement's in shack, or the killer just feels like being nice. But he's Freddy, so who knows. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stick to my gin. I know Cheryl just got hit, but it's ruined. I should stay on this. Alright, he got saved. I'm going to assume that Kate saved him because of how quickly she got hit, so... That uh, means Cheryl should be pretty far away and no one's getting a gen done but me, so I've made the right choice by doing this gen. Cheryl's now in chase. Yeah, they're all over there. That's kind of my consensus. 
I'm gonna finish this and uh, get in position to possibly flashlight save this guy since they're just crawling. Alright. Alright, I guess healing Spartan. So that's cool. I'm gonna attempt to distract with Pebble. The killer didn't even look. He is full focused on tunneling back to the down survivor. I'm clicking at my teammate, hoping that they will uh, get off the wall, but it doesn't look like they care to. Yeah, she's down. The killer found me anyway, so. Alright, well. Let's see how bad the killer is. He looked into the wall. I went down for the flashlight save anyway, because I figured since how quickly he looked back to go uh, to hook. I'm sorry, to pick up. Oh, there's a chance that he would be a little greedy with where he looked. He wasn't. Alright, I know I completed a gen at this two-story house, so I'm attempting to get the killer to come to me. Looks like he'd rather go to the two people he saw with barbecue on the gin. Or perhaps he didn't see him with barbecue, I think he just patrolled it. I'm gonna save Cheryl quickly. Oh, she wants heals, I'll do so. Alright, she does. If I hear the killer's humming, I'm going straight to Shack, which is also towards where Jin I completed is. If you look killers near Jin's you completed, they're not patrolling Jin's that need to be repaired, and that's especially important with Ruin. I'm not gonna go for that. I'd rather finish this heal with, um, Edge. Maybe I should say about their character names. We have a Cheryl, a Kate, and a Zarina. Kate just got hooked. Alright, I plan to go to the solo gen I saw in the two-story building, I think. No, I don't know. I think I'm full health, so I should- and no hook, so I'm, I am gonna go for this save. Oh, never mind, Cheryl it was amazing. So Cheryl got it. Did he pretend to repair that so the killer would chase and think that she didn't have DS? Alright, he's kind of, I mean, camping a gin's not really a term, but he really is camping that gin. And hitting cars. Very angry boy, it looks like. But, uh, yeah, there was a gin we were trying to repair, but since we ruins the thing, I don't really want him to feel like he can keep going back to that and patrolling multiple players. So we'll pre repair that later. Sadly, it will regress, but this is the perk design behind Rune. Teammate makes that window. Very good. Double vaults a little early, actually. Does he have fake pallets? No, he doesn't. Alright. Everywhere I seem to go, there is an injured teammate running to my gen, so I'm having a hard time getting things done. But that is okay. Shack is a very safe loop. So I do not blame them. I am now doing that gin from earlier with Kate's. That killer patrolled like absolutely crazy. Looks like we'll get it done and I get to heal Kate. All my teammates are injured again. So right now, we're doing two map two gins in the uh, middle that are very dangerous. Now that those are done, it is now a lot safer to do any gin on the map because we have split them so far apart. I'm gonna wake up mainly because I want to gather pebble. Pebble can help us later. And because he's Freddy, he might not expect it. Even though he didn't even look at it last time. Okay, he did pay attention. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't mind throwing this pallet down. I do want to be very annoying if possible when it comes to getting this. Flashlight save is not possible. He's running tinkers. That is important info. I want to blind him on hook so he can't really... So he, maybe he'll get mad at me. Alright, he swung at nothing. The idea with me just kind of being an absolute turd and blinding him while he's hooking and whatnot is so that maybe he gets a little emotionally charged and uh... 
decides that tunneling me is a good idea instead of patrolling gems with ruin. It looks like that's what he's doing. So I will get my continuous blinds and chase and have him <laughs> eat a little bit of wall. Looks like he's more interested in patrolling hooks than he is um, doing any gen patrol, so I'll try and show myself in his presence. The plan here is to get close enough to gather pebble, and it worked. He's face camping. The Cheryl. I'm sorry, the um, Kate, who is about to die on hook in like three seconds. Yeah. So this Freddy player is very not fun. And he's back on me because I was kind of doing a gin in front of his face since he was um, so determined to camp. That's very good. I plan to blind him at every pallet just to make him angry, really. <laughs> and it looks like uh, Zarina wants to be a part of the fun, so that's good. Uh, Alright, well, he hates me. Um, and I understand. I did take his ankles away a little bit, so that's good. Is there a pallet down here? I don't think so. But I do think he is right behind me. Yeah. He definitely recognizes that he's Freddy and has way longer arms than he possibly should have. I'm gonna go ahead and break this now. He has Tinkerers. He's gonna leave me. No, he won't. I thought that was him teleporting, but that was just putting a blood pool down. There was a pallet down here. Okay, so I pebbled the basement of this building. He didn't care. Unlucky. Yeah, the plan was that he would think I was in this locker right here. Alright, well, I'll be doing the uh, basement house gin. And I might even skip forward a little bit here. There's not really much to commentate. I'm just doing a gin that I know he'll tinker or two. It looks like he's more focused on uh, that gin. So what I think happened is that he just teleported to Ryuka who did the gin in his face because how quickly he got injured after it. Which means even though I know he's tinkered this gin, he cannot get here in time. And I'm going to finish it probably in front of his face too. Never mind, I uh, tactically woke up to gather pebble and didn't miss a skill check. Okay, he's still not coming here. I'm still correct about uh, him not showing up. You know, that's not a bad thing if he comes here. He didn't end up coming here, though. I actually don't know if he can finish a teleport on a generator that gets completed while he teleports. I think he can, or maybe not. But I'm on a gate now. All the gins have been completed. And I got a hint of terror radius, so it makes me think that he actually left Chase to start teleporting to that and then showed it against it. Perhaps. Okay, I'm not going to play around no Ed. Or I am going to play around no Ed, and I'm just going to get my happy tail out of here. So he has Ruin, Tinkerer, and Undying. The odds of him having Blood Warden are extraordinarily low. Does he want heals in case... Oh, well, Cheryl's good, but... Yeah, GG. Looks like we are fine. Cheryl made it out the other gate. And we did well, unfortunately, Kate took an L on this one, but hey. We did well. I mean, this is a run and dying Freddy. Who camped. So, if you camp hooks, your ruin doesn't do anything, and you lose. Something if you're a killer main, who unfortunately runs these perks. You know what, I'll join him on the clicking, let's be real. He didn't exactly play with fun. Yeah, make sure to patrol generators and not commit to chases and or camping hooks. Especially for no reason, I don't think that K literally did anything toxic. But uh, we'll take your rank one away from you, sir. And we'll feel pretty good about it, to be honest. I almost double pipped. Yeah, I wasn't altruistic enough. Dang. Well, that'll do it for this episode. I hope you guys had a good time. Got some tips. 
I just go over all relaxed. I've thought about many types of videos, never really been too proud of many of them. Have a lot of problems when it comes to editing. Can't exactly afford an editor either. I think one day when I can, I'll definitely start making different types of YouTube content. But for now, we'll just relax, enjoy a little bit of casual DVD, and learn a little bit. And if you're asleep now, sleep well, maybe you're new, please join the Discord. Um, I would love to see you there, and definitely come check out my live streams. I do live stream from 9 to 4 Eastern every single day except for Friday and Sunday. So, with that being said, have a good one, and good night.